CyberCop is a common operating picture controlled in a virtual reality environment. It allows cyber operators to interactively identify and quickly respond to electronic warfare and cyber attacks. Using our modified shortest path algorithm, CyberCop dynamically reroutes traffic to maximize network capacity and helps sustain operations in denied, disconnected, intermittent, and low bandwidth environments. Hi, I'm Michael Rogers, and I'll be presenting on our solution on behalf of Team CyberCop, which includes myself, Roderick Tabalba, and Yoshiki Takagi. Hi, I'm Roderick Tabalba, and I recently taught virtual reality classes here at UH Manoa, and also part-time at Punahou High School. I help enhance the user experience by adding visual cues and sound effects in our application. As you can see from the video, the green line represents the network communications from two locations on Earth. The red cone represents the area and effect of the satellite jamming device. The satellite with a red glow is a satellite that is under a cyber attack. Satellite communications are vital to commercial and military operations worldwide. According to Citigroup research, the global space industry is expected to hit $1 trillion in annual revenue by 2040. Companies like SpaceX and Amazon are adding 45,000 more satellites. And despite ongoing efforts to build a more robust mesh network, Many satellites are still vulnerable to electronic warfare and cyber attacks. It was widely reported that the Russians successfully hacked satellites at the start of the war in Ukraine. They also jammed the SpaceX terminal, but the team at SpaceX stopped the attack with a quick cold fix. In order to match or exceed the capability of the private sector, we need cyber cops. CyberCop is built off of commercial off-the-shelf technology using the Unity game engine. It's currently deployed to the HTC Vive. Many common operating pictures are viewed on 2D screens, such as large media walls, to allow for multiple observers. It's quite useful for monitoring events, but analysts and cyber operators require a deeper layer of interaction. Professor Colin Ware with the University of New Hampshire researched the benefits of viewing graph data in 3D, and the results showed, when coupled with both motion and stereoscopic depth cues, viewing in 3D was an order of magnitude better than viewing in two dimensions. We believe the enhanced immersive experience will enable cyber operators to work more efficiently and be better focused. CyberCop's automated visual and oral cueing system uses stereoscopic 3D and spatial audio to provide the ultimate level of awareness. Moreover, CyberCop can be used to improve training by simulating real world situations or replaying past scenarios. Lastly, CyberCop can be ported to a variety of mobile devices and can be easily updated to add more features or ingest more data sources. Uh, recently, Ms. Heidi Shu, the Undersecretary of Defense for Research and Engineering and Chief Technology Officer for the Department of Defense, visited our lab here in Hawaii and expressed interest in our preliminary work on this project. We also demoed the prototype to a group of 20 Navy civilians from the Naval Information Warfare Center. Following the demo, we were specifically asked for more information about this system, and our lab is now in the process of getting funding by the Air Force Research Laboratory in collaboration with OceanNet, a privately held company focused on bringing science, technology, engineering solutions to society. We've seen a huge demand for this type of technology, and after working with mentors in the Reality Bytes Hackathon, we were able to quickly adapt our software to meet the demands of future cyber operators. All right, last but not least, let's do a quick recap of our team. From top to bottom, we have Roderick Tabalba. He's a master's student with the Department of Computer Sciences at UH Manoa. His primary research focuses on combining natural language processing and data visualization. He also specializes in virtual reality applications. Yoshiki Tagagi, in the middle of the screen, is a computer science PhD student with the University of Hawaii at Manoa. He's currently researching machine learning as well as drones and virtual reality. Finally, I'm Michael Rogers, also a computer science student here at UH Manoa working on my master's. I'm researching artificial intelligence and natural language processing. 